Fly right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today we are celebrating a Christmassy menu here at Asylum, and I'm with me. I have the beautiful Danielle. Hello. Right. Yes, you did. Yeah, I broke the Danny. Because <laughs> there is a hype in there, so uh, it is there broken. You go. It Others is broken. get it wrong, I think. Yes. There you go. Everyone I'm gets it wrong. <laughs> uh, for celebra celebrations and shows that we celebrate things around, we get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, had they all for Aurudu, Christmas. Actually, every yeah, yeah, next time will be Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just Ali. get everyone for festive seasons yeah. only. So, uh, one of the reasons Asylum has been with us many times through this year, so even they wanted you guys, it'll be nice to share some Christmas spirit. Now you all are a family of four. Yeah, oh, nice. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Hi, I have a question. How do you give birth to big, chunky babies? Uh, I've been asked this question a lot. Yeah. I get a lot of uh, Instagram messages asking me what I feed my kids. Because <laughs> <laughs> they want their kids to be nice and round and plump. Yeah, but it's actually got a lot to do with genetics. That is true. It's my dad's side. My dad's Danish. So, you know, we are quite... We should say mixed marriages help. Yes, yeah. mixed marriages help. I actually starved during my second birth <laughs> because I just was... Yeah. sick the entire time right but uh yeah i don't know i just managed to push yep. them out <laughs> <laughs> managed I mean, oh, she did a fantastic job pushing them out birth, right? Right? Ah, yeah, right. yeah, i was yeah, watching yeah. the whole thing happening both times there are there are <laughs> fathers who have fainted oh you, sure you were my okay. dad no, fainted I, when yeah. i was yeah and then he sued the hospital because they didn't Take Attend. care of him <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Actually. And you know, he only got settlement like last year. That is And I'm 29. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's yeah. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Others would have never thought of that. No. They're like, oh, should see. Yeah. yeah. Classic <laughs> attention. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fainted. <laughs> I don't care about the I fainted. And, and the doctor was literally like, Okay, if you're going to be dramatic, just please leave the delivery room. <laughs> he just collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, I wanted to uh, speak to you guys now. Having two is more like a lot of work. Oh, yeah, it is. What do you all do? Like from morning, what time do they start getting your attention? So I, Danny's not a morning person, let's mm -hmm. just put it out. So yeah. I, I take that responsibility. 6.30 in the morning, I'm up, I start my routine, bathroom, water, let the dogs out. And then yeah. 7 sharp, I go upstairs and get Freya, change her diaper, make her milk, bring her downstairs and then put her on the pillow next to Danny, mm. give Danny the milk so she's like... I'm, yeah. just, I'm basically You're just the holder. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the holder. Yeah. And then <laughs> going to Kai's room, wake him up. Yep. Give yeah. his milk and then... But they sleep time. throughout the night, which is great. We yeah. sleep train them both. Yeah. That's uh, amazing. It's, yeah, huge. We learned the hard way. We didn't even know sleep training was a thing. Yeah. I know I got into a lot of scrutiny sure. for even telling moms to sleep yeah. train their children. But I mean, it helped us. I mean, exactly. with our busy schedules and stuff, it's important. everything is so... Like Structure. routine. Yeah, Structure. and also when they know that it's time. Like it's just like potty training, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we as adults have our routine, right? Yeah. You know yeah. what time you wake up, it's body clock, and then yeah. your lunch, your mm. workout, whatever it is. So with kids, mm. it's the same. Yeah, that's the only part of my body clock that's not working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the workout. I'm getting up on time, I'm nice. going to the loo, and the whole works. Yeah. But there's this one thing that's stopping. I uh, just wanted to give out uh, what we have for the season here. Uh, there is a Christmas menu yeah. and it's on till the 24th, 5th, uh, I think it's on till the season. Anyway, come and enjoy. Uh, you can make your reservations. There's so much, so much happening. Actually, you all can dig in. Actually, it's so I think, good. Yeah, I think I have the fancy one. You've the bacon the wrap? Yeah. Every, anything wrapped in bacon <laughs> I know. is a winner. You've got you prawns, get, in, prawns in a blanket. Yes, I know. You can wrap my shoe and I'll eat it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes. So that's all going down at Asylum. So we want to just take you through the Christmas menu that they have. Um, yeah. And also, we wanted to uh, speak a little bit about your traditions for Christmas because I think every family has a very unique thing. Yeah. Um, if you know our, <laughs> if you know my Christmas tradition, mm. it's quite funny. Like we need to have, believe it or not, fish cutlets after Christmas mass at midnight. Really? No. Yeah. That's We've actually really nice. Food. Yeah, we have fish cutlets, hot hot, That's plus amazing. like iced coffee and love cake. So that has been Ooh. like a tradition throughout. Yeah. And I, I find, a lot of people find it strange. <laughs> They're like, what? Fish cut? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But everyone has a tradition. How is it for y'all? What, what, do y'all go for midnight mass or do y'all go for mass? I, growing up, I always went for midnight mass at St. Teresa's. Right. That was my thing. And then we go, go Did home. Did you keep your eyes open? 
Uh, yes, I had to, otherwise my mother would pinch me. Right. I had to sing, I had to participate, oh, I had to do... Mm, mm -hmm. a very strict Catholic mum, mm. so... Okay, <laughs> you had the whole joy to the world I, moment at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then go home and uh, unwrap presents. Oh, right, okay. Right, so that was a thing. But in our household, it's a uh, Christmas tree up on the 1st of December. Right. That has to be a thing. Decorated mm -hmm. or not, it has to be up. The, the tree, tree has to be up. The tree has to be up. Yeah. Over the course of the yeah. like, following yeah. weeks. But yeah, but Ranshan's family has really amazing yeah, traditions. Yeah, because my dad has five sisters and they'd always yeah. come to Sri Lanka, yeah. so we have 14 cousins and the whole thing. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so we usually do the morning mass, the day right. of Christmas, because 24th we celebrate where someone's right, house okay. doing the whole thing then after Christmas come back big lunch mm. grandma used to cook the lunch yeah. but now since she's yeah. gone you know we just order it and then we start Doing. the festivities and you don't do a snooze a Christmas snooze no no because we have a lot planned like I the know. kids get together and we do a play yeah. or we'll do some oh, wow, singing that's cute. everyone can sing and play instruments we got the bandstand and everyone's doing their thing and then in the night we kind of just open presents and yeah and somebody is always Santa yes so the ah, last okay, so what, one in of the, the uncles or one of the, right, the cousins. Okay. So Ashi and I were Santa. Remember? When they were pregnant. When we were pregnant. Because oh, <laughs> they had the photo yeah. already read. One was Santa Claus. So and I one was Santa, she was uh, Mrs. Cla <laughs> Mrs. Claus. And we came with our big tummies right. and we had to give gifts uh, and ring the bell. And well, it's it's a lot of fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good always fun. really, really nice. Um, I, 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 I totally have stopped believing in Santa after the ones that I saw in Sri Lanka. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, when I was growing up in Jaffna, I've seen these books and I'm like, oh, wow, that's Santa. And in Jaffna, the Santa who came on it seemed like mm. burn. Oh, like, no. was, like, yeah, and was. we didn't have like Christmas outfits and yeah, also, yeah. it was a cardboard that was uh, made into oh, a horn. Like, I'm like, this Santa looks wicked. <laughs> like and then I came King here King. and it was more scary. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they wear the white mask, you know, yeah. with oh, the little no, no, eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be petrified like, ah. of them. <laughs> they used to come near me. I used to be like, no. Yeah. So true. We are going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's double. Welcome back to the show, um, and this is Down on Fire, we're checking out the asylum. Um, so, we felt a bit like asylum today. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different story. Anyway, we are speaking about the spirit of Christmas. Um, now, there's a doubt. So, you are very Sri Lankan. Yes. I brought up in a Sri Lankan household, raised Sri Lankan. You can speak Sinhalese, speak you Singhalese, understand everything. Yeah. But people do not know that. No, they don't. Have people could could fight in front of you? Oh, of, of course. Can you sing her lead? Of the time. course. Oh, tell me one oh, of the good good the, 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 uh, Oh my gosh, there was once I'll never forget this. Uh, yeah. In a tuk tuk, a um, heading from Golf Ace Court Apartments down to I think it was Crescat, mm. and we went down the Bearer Lake side. And this uh, tuk tuk driver takes the phone and it's like. Bot -bot. No, but say, you know, like <laughs> like that. And I just thought, you know what? I really want to jump at him yeah. in Singhala, but I thought, no, let him, let him keep talking. Yeah. Let him keep talking. And then when we got out of the tuk tuk, I was like, um, you know, I gave him the money and I said, Maru Saliti, no other. And he just looked at me <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Madam Singhala, come I was like, Yes, I and can. And you should have said, Marathi, you know, I gave them a because they just die inside. Mm. And I think I get so much satisfaction <laughs> just true. watching their, their, their tone and their yeah. eyes and everything just switch off for a second. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah, don't ever judge the color. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But the beauty yeah. is that because I'm slightly fairer. Yeah. No, you have got fairer by standing next to her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we were in Hirikaji yeah? <laughs> and all the beach boys were yeah. They speak to yeah. me also like I'm yeah. a foreigner, you know? Yeah. And then they'll say something. Yeah. But I know all the Hirikidia Beach boys, like all the surf, yeah, uh, the yeah. surf guys, they all can... Because I speak singer, because I speak to them that in singer. Really <laughs> so they remember me. Oh, they yeah. stick, it sticks, right? Yeah. So every time right. I go back to Hirikidia, they're like, I know na villa. Yeah, you know? lady you know, they, we chat about family and all of that, catch up, and then I head back to club. 
uh, yeah. they must be all trying to get a passport through you. Probably. Yeah, yeah. They are like, they are the message again. Best is at the nail salon as well. Uh, I, I just listen. I like listening. Oh my God, those women. It's a lot. What they say. I, I know all the salons in Sri Lanka. All the problems, the insides, the when gossip. When she picks a color, when she picks a color, what are they doing? Hari madam, hari me. Third part act to her. ஒரு <laughs> 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 there's no problem in sort of surviving in sri lanka but yeah. with all that happened this year um yeah. and having two kids did you ever think you know not a good country to sort of stay back and you know c- considering the fact that you know they have a future yeah. I, i mean it crossed our minds but i don't think at yeah. any point will be like we're going to leave hmm. yeah uh, cuz we knew things would eventually get better sri lanka is a very resilient nation you know we've been through the tsunamis and the bombings and and a <clears> war and a war yeah and we've come out of it and yeah. things have eventually got better yeah. so the hope not is completely. that not completely yeah, yeah. but, but yeah, it, it's some sort of uh, fun if tips. people don't take unnecessarily we are a country that's beautiful absolutely yeah. Yeah. there is corruption in every country sure. but you know you don't 100%. take 70% and use 30% yeah. you give 70% and take, and yeah, yeah 30% yeah. Yeah, it's like the other way around yeah. but we all went through a lot of cyber bullying during that time yep. and we all yeah. called all types of names uh, how was it for you all how did you all manage and especially considering the fact that you come from st thomas's you know the boys mm. uh, uh uh former prime minister's kids and those were all brought up yep. and how was it for you it was probably for me the toughest time in sri lanka was challenging because i've always had this issue where i didn't know where i kind of belonged right mm. um being mixed race as well So when I was being attacked on social media um I mean I I just wanted to get out I wanted it to stop uh it was so hard I mean, I mean we can ins- take criticism and mm. and bad money yeah. whatever but when you bring the children into that it is and just in too much. death threats and rape yeah. that kind of thing is it's just too far I think I still struggle to sleep at night uh, because I'm scared that someone's going to you know break into the house or something like that I know uh I'm the least of anyone's problems like I am not politically connected in any way I have nothing to do with the government or or whatever but um you know you just have the fear because those words were said yeah. and they are damaging yeah, and it's misdirected uh, hate yeah. and it's scary cuz Freya was just born yeah yeah and the vile things that were being said about my you know 1 month old daughter was just disgusting yeah. and scary and sad and And, and people say also oh, why are you putting your kids up it's your child you want to celebrate the way you want to and yeah. you know back in the days when they took photographs now you take videos of them and do tiktoks yeah. things change and and there but to be fair there are so many people who are supportive and that's true. we've got so yeah. much love that so it just rounds out the head yeah. so yeah. we're very appreciative of all the people that are constantly checking up exactly and, yeah. and enjoying the kids growing up just that as is, much as we are that is true yeah. that's so cute that chunky yes. money <laughs> yeah. uh let's Thank get into you. a break we'll see you right on the other side because we need to sit through this meal uh main <laughs> meal and it's not a pleasant sight to me <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's Danu on Fire. We're speaking to these two la- <laughs> ladies. <laughs> I can let's, see. Uh, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's Danu on Fire. We're speaking to these two about Christmas and making memories. Um this uh, 2022 has taught us a lot of things. We have oh, yeah. made friends, gained friends, lost friends, lost people who we love. Um we have seen this country come out through such uh what can i say such a loud voice that spoke mm. to the world what have you learned this year that family is the most important thing and we really cherish our time with family because you know when yeah. we were stuck at home without fuel going nowhere we got to spend all that time with the kids and really I, it was a blessing in disguise yeah. there's always a reason for everything 
And even though I complained so much, about you know, being stuck at about home. being stuck at home, and you know, we did this during COVID. Why do we have yeah, to do, do it, it now? Again. And da 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 da. da. And Ranjan's like, we don't have any fuel. Just like, be grateful that we're home with the kids. And you know what? We were, and we yeah. didn't miss any milestones. We did it with Kai, where we didn't miss any milestones because during COVID. COVID. And, then now and now with Freya. with Freya, we haven't missed a single yeah, yeah. Um, the first step, milestone. The, yeah, yeah. Like all those Everything. little Everything. things. Are the first laugh, the first yeah, treasured, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, every Christmas we try and do something at home. What do y'all do? Like, can you cook? I can oh, cook. Amazing cook. Oh, really? Oh. I'm a very good yes. cook. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, I eat, she cooks. I, oh, absolutely yeah. blessed. He, he's the one who did a unit in culinary arts. No I way, can really. cook, he but has, I just have never cooked he's, for her. Yeah. Saving what? it for like... Right? We went really? through COVID and a fuel crisis yeah. and yet you didn't cook. And I was pregnant and cooking. Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> really, <laughs> made you, really made you work for the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. the wife title. <laughs> but she's very specific with her food and what she likes or whatever. So, so yeah. you make... You do Sri Lankan? I don't. I mainly do Western just because my mum always cooked Western at home. But you can. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like, like the Kolo's mixes. I don't know. <laughs> you know just dump them into that. the pan. Because they are the best. Yeah, true. I mean, so uh, that's as Sri Lankan as it gets. But, you know, I like a good roast and yeah. potatoes and vegetables. I can make a good kiribat than uh, chicken yeah, curry. So your New Year's already or Christmas is also sorted in terms of what you all have to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we just got to know Ranshan is OCD. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Totally. How, like, your hall, your house. Like, you when I go into a room, like, the remotes need to be a specific way and, you know, this much apart from each other. My desk was the same, the pens, the, the calendar. If I walk into a room now, I can look here and see half these paintings are yeah. like, eh, oh, no, <laughs> I'm not even looking there. Yeah. Yeah, and the closet I, is yeah. color coordinated, everything's folded. I do everything myself. I love it. It's therapeutic. No, let's say you have to go out in a hurry. He will make sure that it's all lined up before he leaves. And no, I don't pull stuff out. I know where everything is because I put it in the closet. Right. So yeah. I go and I nicely. I take need to this take out, you home because back. I think after you do my <laughs> wardrobe, you might let go of this um, condition as well. <laughs> OCD, what? Oh, she's the exact, exact opposite. opposite. Oh, really? Walks in with the towel, towel is on the floor, clothes <laughs> all on. The, I'm like, <laughs> I've got used to it. I just got to put the towel back, put the glass in there, glass but, and move on. but I'm getting better now because yeah. I hang my towel up now. Oh, that's I make amazing. a conscious effort right. to put yeah. it up. Step by step. Uh, my side table looks like a bomb has gone yeah, off. Yeah, it's literally it's like, like explosion. But mine is, you know, everything, and everything is just neat and clear. Yeah. But you know, I used to be like you. I think I am a little bit, but yet. Uh, it's very hard <laughs> when you have like when you're short of sleep always you're like no let me just fold this when I wake up yeah, yeah. 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 I, I do have a, a chair you know where I put oh the worn clothes one yeah, oh, yeah. And, right but then my mom donated a, one of those clothes oh, racks right. to me I'm like thank you <laughs> put it in a corner hang anything <laughs> on that it's so the corner okay. of the bathroom he yeah. has all oh, so but that cannot be seen by you no oh, there you go that's what all these things, such <laughs> conditions that we deal with. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you are planning on doing something this Christmas, asylum is a good option for you to come and like yes. make your uh, make your memories stand because the food is amazing. Ama oh, oh, so good! We're waiting yeah. for. Yeah, we ate everything, like everything. Yeah. Licked the plate and gave it back. Oh, yes. Yeah, the whole thing, like min. Yeah, <laughs> I look played. <plate. laughs> it was that good. So it's brilliant. Um, yeah. Thank you to the team here. I know they had a bit of a boo boo because they didn't have one of their chefs. Yeah. But yet they managed to pull it off. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Um, thank you. And yeah, we need to say goodbye. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so yeah. much for having us. Happy so holidays. Happy Hope holidays. you're easy. You never know when I have you all next time. You would have popped another. Oh yes. my God. All the milestones in our lives we've been on. Close. Your shop's closed? No, I, we said maybe three years. Yeah. We're three giving years. our very close friends three years to get their lives together and have a child. We'll have our third with their first. So then, you know, they can all grow up together yeah. like we did. That's the plan. We, I mean, we discussed it. Don't I say, mean, eh, she's changing her mind. No. <laughs> if I don't have work. to carry the child. There you go, that's, she that's, wants that's, to do the whole surrogacy right yeah, yeah, Everyone wants to be prepared. My, my body is tired, man. That's true. Like, it is tired. Well, you went back to back. So, yeah, I, yeah. I would assume I mean, it my is. insides are like an open wound. <laughs> like, seriously. <Yeah. laughs> but you get back to shape. You know, I met you after your second birth. Yeah. I think here. Yes, I did. Like, yes. literally, like two <laughs> weeks. Yeah. But that's no, the beauty No, no. It was uh, the day... The day after. after. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or but two days after, yeah. I'd be I mean, given birth. But that's the beauty of natural birth. I mean, like it, yeah. the bounce back is I so quick. I have seen natural birth. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Food oh, babies sorry, versus born real babies. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's easy on the mum's body. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you for joining me today on Done on Fire. Till we see you again, you keep smiling, and all the best for the season. Thank you.